Hey everybody, Alicia here from Cyboards, and I would like to talk about the different half balls and balls and all the unique combinations that you can do for your cyborg and really give you infinite amounts of training. Wow! The heart of the cyborg is being on a solid urethane ball that gives you free rotation, full multi-direction motion. I love it. And one of the other great advantages of a cyborg is its versatility. We've made a system for you that will take you through a basic movement like a rocker or wobble board all the way up to a fully functional 360 degree motion. If you have one of our perfect packages, you know that it comes with all the bells and whistles. It's got several half balls, balls, the resistance bands, and of course your cyborg. And it really is the perfect package to give you everything that you'll need for full on versatility for the life of your cyborg. If you have our basic package, which comes with either one or two balls and a half ball, that's a great starting position to get you activated, get your mind going, uh, get you into a three-in-one or a five-in-one package, depending on the, the type of combinations that we have for you. I like to say that there are two ways to ride a cyborg. Either you ride it and fully activate, you're moving that board all over the place, or even if you're on a half ball, you're moving that left and right and up and down and actively moving that board. Or secondly, you can try to react to the board and let it ride you a little bit. You'll usually find this when you're doing complex training, where if you're catching balls or you're doing some type of other swinging motion or an upper body move, where you really need that stability on the lower body, you'll find that you'll stay stable. And then as you progress down the line, you can actually do those complex motions hold your position, and then start riding the board. And there's several ways to use all of these tools for you. So let's get started with the rocket board. You're gonna place two half balls underneath the board, and that's gonna tilt forward and backwards. And what I would like you to do in this skill progression is you actively move that. Move it forward, move it backwards, see how much ankle range of motion you have, and then try to stay centered, and then react to the board. Let's take one half ball away and create a wobble board. So go ahead and place that half ball in the center and let's do our movement series. Touch the board left and right on the ground, forward and backwards, and then add some twisting. And then twist and a diagonal plane where we're actively uh, going up and down. And then counterclockwise, so you're going to stay on the board and try and get each end of that board to touch clockwise, counterclockwise and then your 360. So if you're standing on there, that's gonna be a little difficult, but if you go into a push-up position, you'll be able to do that. When you're ready to progress to a board that's actually going to move on you and roll on you, you're gonna place one half ball on one side and a ball on the other, and what you'll find is that one side is actually rocking while the other side is actually sliding forward and backward. This is really fun. It's one of my um, it's one of my harder skills for me to get used to because it really uh, fine tunes my feet, and then I'm sliding forward. I'm all over, and I just don't have the wires coming down from the ceiling holding me up. But uh, it's super fun, and some of you really really like it. To get started on this motion, you're going to step on the side with the half ball, the side that is not rolling and moving. Step on that side, and then mount the other side, and progress where you're going to tilt the board and then add your forward and backward sliding motion. Your next skill progression is to take away the half ball and add a second ball. So you're going to have two balls under the board, one at each side of the rail, or if you have uh, like two small five inch balls, you can put them along the smaller width of the board, depending on what skill we're working on. But let's just for simplicity, keep them at the sides of the board. Now with this board, the closer the balls are, the more 360 multi-direction movement that you will have. But this is easier because you have two points of contact, so the board is not doing a really, really big tilting motion. So to get started, you're going to level out the board, place your foot or your hand on there gently, and then activate, keeping that board level, and then gently putting your other foot or your hand on the board. Alrighty, let's move on to the full ball. So this is the heart of the cyborg. Um, if you're doing upper body motions, what I like to do is first start out on my knees and really get used to all of that motion. This is actually a great skill to do with new clients before they get on and ride um, with their feet, is to have them kneeling 
and do the motions with their hands. So left and right, forward and backwards, twisting, diagonals, circles, clockwise, counterclockwise, and then a full 360. And now let's get into your unpredictable combos. These are so fantastic, especially for board sport athletes where if you're surfing, you run over some kelp, it's windy, the water's choppy, and it's just not a smooth, smooth ride, and you're getting jarred all over the place. Well, this is the perfect combination of unpredictable training on the sideboard. We're gonna first start with the Thrasher, and you're gonna place a larger half ball that's got the scooped out middle side. You're gonna place that with the flat side up, Place a smaller ball on the inside, and what that will do is it will provide two types of surface area, a smaller ball and then a larger half ball. And as it's rolling around and it's tilting and it's hitting, it literally is thrashing you around. This is definitely an advanced uh, version when you're standing on the board. But if you're in a push-up position or a dip or even a bridge position, it's a really great skill progression to get something that's uh, slightly rolling but doesn't have a large rolling space. So play around with this. This is a lot of fun. And remember to hold on to something. Your next unpredictable combo is the rock and roll. You're gonna place two half balls flat side up and place the smaller balls on the inside. So that's either a eight and a half inch half ball with a five inch ball or a six and a half inch half ball with a three inch ball. Place those on there underneath the board and now your board is uh, not rolling all over the place. It's more level, but you've got this tilt and this jarring and um, yeah, it's pretty much like this and then your legs are going crazy and it's just so awesome. For positions like uh, skiing or stand up paddle, this just is so much fun. You gotta try it, it's, it's really, really a blast. And your last unpredictable combo is called the Big Drop. This one is super insanely fun. I, I love it. You're gonna place a large half ball with a larger ball on the inside. So you're gonna suction in there and that again is gonna provide two different surface sizes to, to roll and teeter on. But the Big Drop feels like you're teetering and then all of a sudden, boom, you're gonna drop down to the side. Uh, so definitely advanced movement. If you're riding with your feet and standing, then definitely hold on to somebody or get a spot. With your hands, what's really fun is if you can see how much motion you get without quite dropping off and then how far can you push that limit before you drop off and can you react to it? Oh, super fun. Alrighty, sideboarders, that is how you progress with your half balls and your balls. And then when you're ready, add the bands onto the board with all of those combinations and then add your six movements and then your different stances and your hand placements or your foot placements. And you know what? It's just infinite. We could just go on and on and on with all of our video series. I love it. I love it. I love having that versatility and that skill progression, the different board sizes that's gonna fit everybody, whether you're a three foot um, kid with small feet or you're six foot seven, way up there all the way into the ceiling. I'm Alicia from Sideboards. Keep on breaking the rules and I will see you soon. Woo! For more information, check us out at cyboards.com and jump into the next generation.